The Magic Bean Tree, a legend from Argentina. At first, in the long ago time, there was just one tree. In the middle of the wide pampas, this one tree stood all alone. Its ancient roots held water from the earth's first rainfall. Full of magic, the carob tree stretched toward the sky like a green umbrella. Then came a summer when no rain fell. The waving grasses of the wide, wide pampas grew brown and still. Day after day, the hot sun scorched the feet of those who walked. Even in the highlands, the streams and lakes dried up. Without water, everything would soon die. The herders of llamas on the edge of the pampas knew this to be true, but what could they do? They had stopped praying, for the gods of the great sky world no longer talked. The voice of Pachamama no longer made the ground tremble or the mountains smoke. The breath of the life giver no longer pushed stars to the night skies, nor clouds to the day skies. All life giver hung in the sky was the sun, fierce and hot. When no rain came, only little Topek prayed each day. He prayed to life giver. He prayed to Pachamama. He prayed to Pompero and mother of storms. When no rain came, Topek decided that the rain had lost its way. I will find rain, he said, and bring it back. Everyone worried. Little Topek, don't go, for you might crumble like the plants. Little Topek, don't go, for you might turn into dust like the earth. But through the tall grasses, Topek walked. Plants crumbled as he walked. Dust burned his eyes as he walked. Still, Topek went on until he came to what was once a deep river. Oh, tell me, O oh river, have you seen the rain? No rain, no rain, so dry, I will soon die, murmured the river. I will find rain and bring it back, promised Topek. The river worried. Hide from the sun, little one, curl up like the armadillo, cover your head like the rhea, or you will die too. But Topek went on. He saw armadillos rolled into balls, hiding from the sun. He saw rheas with wing-covered heads hiding from the sun. But little Topek kept walking. Far, far from his village, Topek felt the biting sting of the hot north wind on his cheek. Tell me, O oh North Wind, he said, have you seen the rain? Whoosh, huffed the North Wind, but he didn't answer. Instead, his strong breath lifted Topek, swirling him into a cloud of dust across the wide pampas. Finally, Topek caught on something cool, something soothing, and dropped to the ground in a deep sleep. The next day, when the sun woke Topek, he looked up. Why, he was under carob tree, the only tree growing in the wide pampas, and its leaves were still moist and green. Tell me, O oh carob tree, have you seen rain? No rain, no rain, sighed the tree. Great bird of the underworld is in the way. Topak did not know who this was. Its ring... Wings reach from one end of the sky to the other, explained the tree, so the gods cannot see that the pampas need rain, and they cannot hear your prayers. Then I shall find this evil bird and kill it, cried Topek. Nothing can kill it, little one. You must make it go somewhere else. Very well, said Topek. I will find a way. Since you are so brave, said the tree, I shall share my secret with you. Each night when the skies dim, Great bird sleeps on my highest limb. Come back, little one, come back then, before the sun lights earth once again. Quickly, Topek hurried back to his village, for the words of the wise tree had given him a plan. When darkness fell, the carob tree's words proved to be true, for settling among its branches was the great bird of the underworld with its wings folded deep in sleep. As the thick warmth of the night skies dimmed the stars, the earth became still. Then, from the other side of the wide pampas, tiny lights suddenly appeared. It was little Topek leading the way. With torches lit, he brought his people to where the powerful carob tree stood. Boom, boomba, boom, boomba, 
The herders beat their drums, banged on sticks, rattled rattles, and raised their voices, shrieking, screaming, filling the air with such noise the earth shook. The upper branches of the carob tree swayed as though pushed by a sudden storm. Louder, cried Topek, boom, boomba, boom, boomba, boom, boomba. Then from all over the pampas, animals came running, leaping, hopping, jumping, adding their voices to those of the people. Snort, snort, hiss, yap, yap, yow. Suddenly the great bird cried out, oh, oh, oh. Frightened by the sound of so many voices, the wicked bird flew out of the treetop. Oh, 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 oh. Up, up high into the air it soared, hiding the moon behind its enormous wings. As great bird of the underworld vanished beyond the night sky, a chant rose up from the people below. Life giver, see us. Pachamama, see us. Pompero, hear us. Mother of storms, hear us. A low rumble sounded in the distant sky as a thick cloud formed. And at last rain came. All through the night the rain poured on the pampas, filling up its rivers and turning its brown grass green. When the sky cleared at sunrise, the mighty branches of the carob tree shook, covering the ground with golden red beans. These were a gift for Topek, for being so brave and for finding a way to bring back the rain. From the beans came fodder to feed the llamas. From the beans came flour to make porridge and cake. And from the seeds of the beans grew many more carob trees. Throughout the land of Argentina. Today, the people of Argentina still tell the story of brave Topek and the magic carob tree, and they still plant its seedlings near their homes, for though it takes a carob tree a long time to grow, its shade is said to bring good luck.